Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make adult coloring videos here on this channel. And today I'm going to be showing you guys all of the coloring books I bought this month. I have accumulated 12 books over the month and I'm really excited about all of them. Um, about half of them are Disney, just a warning. Um, and then the other half are just books I bought on Amazon. I definitely bought a few Christmas wintry books this month. And I do think next month I'll end up buying a couple also. But I'm really excited to show you guys what I bought. Um, I only have coloring books to show you this month. I didn't buy any sort of supplies this month. Um, I actually, fun fact, um, I was chatting with Meg and we saw that Prisma colors, well she saw Prisma colors were on sale. She decided to purchase them and I decided against it, but like I thought about it. Um, so I almost had a supply to show you, but what I really wanted to go on sale that didn't go on sale were the Ohuhu brush markers, like the, I think like a hundred set of, basically, so I have the 216 set of brush markers. There is a 100 set that basically completes like the whole like 300 set, if that makes sense, because it comes in like two separate, um, packages I guess for the bigger set of brush markers those never went on sale and that made me so so sad I really wanted to pick those up but I'm gonna hold off until they go on sale but that was a tangent I didn't mean to go on like I said today I'm gonna be showing you guys all of the books I bought this month um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoy the video and let's get right on into it so the first book I'm super excited for this is advent calendar color by number by Sach and Sach Deva and I have not colored in it yet because this is a book I am going to color every single day in December. Um, by the end of the month, I will hopefully have a completed coloring book to flip through for you guys on the channel. I'm so excited about this book. Um, all of the images are super duper simple, so I can imagine I will get it done. Um, they're not like super detailed images, which is great. They're all very large print, which I love. Um, and they're all just so stinking cute. Like there's not a page in here that I'm like not excited about. Um, so I'm really excited about this book. Uh, Meg, Meg's our atrium again, and I decided we are going to be doing um, like a month long buddy color in this book. So I'm very excited about that. But yeah, that's the first book. I just realized that I got a decent amount of Sachin Sach Deva this month. Um, he just came out with some good books. Next, I have Cute Sloths Color by Number. And this is basically, a companion book, I guess, to his Cute Llamas book that um, I got a few months ago. I still have yet to do this page, but I really want to do it. And this book actually has some seasonal pages, so there is a Halloween page somewhere in here, and then there's also a Christmas page that I actually did this month, um, but I don't want to spoil it. But yeah, this book actually has some holiday pages, which is really, really fun. And it's so stinking cute, and again, it's insanely simple, so anybody can do it. It's just overall a really fun book to have. And then I have 100 Large Print Color by Number by Sach and Sach Deva. Again, another Sach and Sach Deva book, but this one is also super duper cute. This is just a large print color by number. Um, I am actually planning on just working through this book in order. Um, there are a lot of pages, obviously it's 100 pages, but um, this is kind of one of those books that I can see myself completing eventually. I don't think it'll be next year just because it is so big, um, but I could definitely see myself finishing it in the future. So the plan is to just work through this book in order unless I'm like working on some sort of bingo or like I need it for some sort of prompt, which I never do. I never really do the bingos or like the... Um, just like scavenger hunts I see all over Instagram. I think they look really fun. I just like can't see myself committing to something like that. Um, so I've never really done one. But unless like for some reason I need to go out of order, I can just see myself kind of working through this book in order. And it's just super fun and it's so thick, you guys. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that. It is so dang thick. And then I have Kawaii Christmas. This is by Color Questopia. This book is so super duper cute. Oh my goodness, I adore. Oh, oh, that was a bonus page. That was that was probably the normal kawaii book, um, the more I think about it. But anyways, this book is so cute. How many times can I say that? You guys, if you guys are new to the channel, I say the word cute a lot, just a warning. Um, also, a little sneak peek into my finished pages for the month. That sticky tab is not really sticking, but... I love that this is like a cereal page. Like, do you guys ever see cereal in coloring books? I don't know. I feel like I've never, but... 
yeah, I love this book a ton. It's been super fun to color in. Um, I'm excited to pull it out more next month. So, oh, and I adore the food pages. I'm in love with this book. I truly recommend anybody pick this up. And then I went ahead and purchased Winter Chibis by Alexandra Francis. And this book is also <laughs> adorable, cute, amazing. Also another sneak peek. I was not trying to sneak peek, but I'm sneak and peek if you guys are watching this video. Oh my God, another page. I feel like my books like just tend to flip to the ones that are done. I don't know if it just has to do with like the ink weighing it a certain way. I don't know, but I really like this book. I love the fact that um, one of the pages is actually a Hanukkah page, which I definitely need to do next month during the season. Um, so that would be really fun, but yeah, I feel like a lot of coloring book artists don't really incorporate Hanukkah So I'm just this book is so fun. It has it But all the other images are also really really cute, but yeah, that is winter chibis and then I have 50 winter Christmas 50 winter and Christmas fairy houses. This is by Camelia Angelkova. I cannot talk um, But this book is a sequel to her 50 Halloween fairy houses book and it does not disappoint in the slightest um, I actually did a buddy color this month in this book and I actually have another buddy color in it that I haven't done yet both with the same person um, but this this is actually the other buddy color that I that I haven't done um, I definitely need to do it. It doesn't look too complicated. I just need to actually like get my booty into gear and do it. But yeah, this book is so cute. Again, um, I was mentioning this, I think when I flipped through this book that I actually prefer the Halloween book. I think it's cuter. I love this book as well, but I actually prefer the Halloween one. But yeah, that is 50 Winter and Christmas Fairy Houses. Okay, so last in the Amazon book realm, um, I have North Pole, Nor <laughs> North Pole Elves, and this is by Morgan O'Brien, and this is just another one of his kind of easy coloring books. I mean, I think that's kind of all he has are books in this style, um, but it is so cute. I definitely plan on picking up the Matchstick Mouse Christmas book this month. Um, that is like the one of the last Christmas coloring books that are like on the top of my wish list that I really want, um, that I want to pick up. But this book is also just as cute. I definitely need to do a page in it. I have not yet, um, but I feel like lately that's kind of been the theme for me is buying books and not coloring in them very quickly. Which, like, at the end of the day is fine. Like, I have these coloring books for life. And so if I don't color in them right away, it's not a big deal. It's just I'm so used to, like, coloring in them right away. Like, I used to have, like, coloring books for, like, a few weeks. And then they'd be colored in, basically, within those few weeks. And I feel like lately I just have, like, I have some books I have have untouched for, like, a year so. That was a rant, but that is North Pole Elves. Okay, so just a fair warning here that I will be showing spoilers for these next five books, and after that I don't have anything else to show you guys, so if you guys are not into the spoilers of these books, thank you for watching the video up to this point. I'll catch you in my next one, but if you guys are interested in seeing spoilers for these books, definitely keep watching. I made another French Disney order, and I just purchased the rest of the books I needed to complete my collection, obviously besides any like pre-orders for new books coming out. Um, so now I officially have all 30 of the books. Did I need them? No. Did I want them? Yeah. So first we have Le Grand Classiques, Tomb 6. and. I actually super duper love this volume. I didn't think I would love it as much as I do, but like it just is really bright and colorful. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be so bright and colorful. I don't even know why I wasn't expecting it to be so bright and colorful. Um, probably because seven and eight are really dark, um, but this, this one is cool. Also fun fact, and I don't even know like if, it, these three pages are from a movie that's like the adventures of, ooh, I don't know how to pronounce it, like Ichmid, Ichmid and Mr. Toad. I'm so sorry. I definitely butchered that. But like, it's a movie from 1949 and it's like one of the only, like one of three books that has that movie in particular. It's so weird. I don't know. Random tangent, but yeah. Super duper cute pages. You have Winnie the Pooh in this volume. And if you guys are new to these books, basically you get a bunch of squiggly lines and a color code at the bottom. So it's just, you can't really tell what 
the page is going to be. Um, but yeah, that is Tomb 6. And then we have Tomb 7, which in my opinion is the worst in terms of darkness out of all of the volumes. I think Tomb 7 is the worst. Um, these are just wildly dark. Like, I don't know... I don't know who approved this before pushing it through to be a thing. Some pages are worse than others. Like this one's very bright and colorful, but then you have like this one that's like really, really dark and I don't get it. But I wanted it because I really wanted to complete the collection. So I just got it. And like, I can lighten things up at the end of the day. Like this is all petty things. It's all good. It's all good. It's just like kind of, I guess, who allowed the darkness to happen in the nicest way possible. I love these books so much. I hate talking smack about them. I just think it could be improved upon, I guess. But to be fair, this is like one of a couple volumes that even have these really dark images. So I don't think this is an every book thing. You know what I mean? So... I love these books a ton, so again, you just have the blank pages, and that's Tomb 7. And then we have Tomb 8, which again is a darker volume. They have some darker images, but these are not as bad. They definitely have more lighter ones, and the the pages overall give, have a darker tone, but they're not as bad. They're not as bad. So. And I am just in love with all of these pages, and all of these characters, and everything about them, if you guys couldn't tell. I really like this um, stitch page. I really have to do that one. I didn't even realize that was in the book. And now that I know it exists, I really want to do it. It has so much blue and purple and I love it. So yeah, like I feel like you guys can tell like these images are kind of on the darker side, but they're really not that bad. So yeah, I definitely will have a full flip through video of these coming up in the next week or two. So definitely stay tuned for that. But that is Tomb 8. And then I have one that I actually flipped through the full thing in my last video, which I will leave linked down below. But this is Mystery Messages. And this one is so bizarre. I've never seen this one on anybody else's channel except one person who is actually a French color tuber. Um, but this book is... As the title would suggest, a bunch of mystery messages. So you get like a character or two from each like movie and then there's a quote but it's all in French um so this book was super interesting I've never really seen it I decided to pick it up on a whim and I love it I think it's really really fun I'm definitely happy with it I don't know how often it'll be something I color in but you never know honestly this could end up being my favorite volume so like I said, I do have a flip through video as my last video, so definitely go check it out if you're interested in more detail about this book specifically. And last, but certainly not least, we have Cats and Felines, and I was not expecting to love this volume as much as I do, but honestly, this volume, I'm going to compare it to the Dogs and Puppies because it is like its companion in a way. It's also kind of its opposite, but kind of its companion. And this book is infinitely brighter and more colorful than the dogs and puppies book i'm just going to be honest i love the dogs and the puppies of the disney movies however i will i, I almost like this book more just because it is more colorful so i don't know maybe they did different backgrounds like things like that the like animals themselves like the cats themselves are still kind of neutral but for some reason it just kind of works more in this book and it feels more colorful overall than the dog's book so I don't know let me know in the comments if you have both of them or if you've seen both of them what you think but yeah overall just really fun book I love it a ton and I'm super happy to have finally completed the whole collection but yeah that is it for this video today I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already and I will catch you guys in my next video bye guys